like many other tech geeks, I've been pretty excited about the progress of ARM CPU performance over the last few years. Uh, things started getting really exciting when Apple's iPad chips approached the performance of laptops with Intel CPUs. And then, of course, last year, Apple started its transition to its own silicon, which is based on the ARM architecture. And then they released the M1. And I think it's safe to say that the M1 has been a pretty good success story. Uh, but why should Apple users have all the fun? Can anyone bring the fight to Apple and bring something like the M1 to PCs? Qualcomm reckon they can. In a recent interview with Reuters, Qualcomm CEO Cristiano Ammon made a series of pretty confident statements about their plans to push into the laptop chip market. Uh, the question is, can they do it? At the moment, Qualcomm makes chips based on standard ARM designs, which it licenses from ARM. But Apple has long since moved away from the standard designs, ever since the A7, in fact. It creates its own designs, which are still based on the ARM architecture. Now, they still pay a license fee to ARM, but it's a different approach to the one that Qualcomm has been using. But Qualcomm has recently spent $1.4 billion acquiring a company called Nuvia, which, like Apple, has been creating its own designs based on the ARM architecture. And there's good reason for that. Nuvia's founder and CEO is Gerard Williams, who was formerly chief architect for Apple's CPU and system on chip development. In fact, according to his LinkedIn bio, he led the Firestorm architecture work. Firestorm being the name of the power cores inside the M1. Naturally, Apple was a bit miffed about this, so they sued him. And Apple believed that Mr. Williams left and set up his own company so that Apple would be forced to buy it. Uh, anyway, let's leave the legal arguments to the lawyers because they get paid a lot more than I do to talk about it. Uh, the key point here is that Gerard Williams is now at Qualcomm, along with other experienced silicon engineers, including a couple more from Apple. Qualcomm have got the right people, they've got the right infrastructure, and they've got the deep pockets needed to bring a competing chip to market. And pretty much all the big names in the PC world are quoted on Qualcomm's press release as being jolly happy about the acquisition. So when might we expect to see some chips? Uh, perhaps as soon as the middle of next year. And will those chips be as fast as Apple? Bearing in mind that Apple will surely have released a follow-up to the M1 by then. Uh, probably not at first, but I've got no doubt that they could catch up. Uh, some Apple fans might be looking at this and calling foul, but before you do that, just remember that Apple has played exactly the same game themselves. They've been poaching technology and engineers from other companies. Uh, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. In fact, I put it to you Apple fans that this is fantastic news for you. Look at the way that some other chip manufacturers have stagnated in recent years due to their market superiority. But competition is good for consumers. It drives innovation and it keeps pricing in check. So this is great news for Apple fans and PC fans alike. The consumer wins. We get powerful mobile computers with near desktop level CPU performance and we get great battery life too at a price point that just a couple of years ago would have seemed impossible. Of course, the biggest challenge facing the competition is that Apple has a unique advantage of controlling the hardware and the software. And those two things are equally important, which is a fact that is often missed. You simply can't have one without the other. And the simple truth is that Apple's software is very well optimized for its hardware. Windows for ARM CPUs has been around for years and it continues to be developed. Uh, Microsoft sells its own ARM powered computers after all, in fact with Qualcomm chips in them. These chips though, they're much closer to standard ARM designs, so their performance in this notebook form factor is not yet comparable with Apple Silicon. But there's a clear desire to make it happen and there are some very deep pockets in those corporations. So yes, clearly it's gonna take Qualcomm a little while to catch up. But if you had to put money on them being able to bring a competing chip to Apple Silicon, I'd say that's a fairly safe bet. And it's great to see other players entering the market space. ARM has huge potential and competition is good for everyone. In fact, it's even driving innovation in the x86 arena as well. We're seeing some really exciting new designs with those chips too. So it's an exciting time to be a tech geek. But what do you think? Please share your thoughts in the comments section and thanks in advance for your subs, shares and likes. I hope to see you again soon for some more geekery.